Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see module 3 questions in the model question paper of introduction to electronics engineering subject. Module 3 covers Boolean algebra and logic circuits and few combinational circuits we are going to discuss. In this module, the first question they have asked in the model question paper is on full ladder. With the help of truth table, explain the operation of full ladder with its circuit diagram reduce the expression for sum and carry. You need to carefully look at the question. They have asked to explain the full ladder with the truth table and the logical diagram. Then they have asked to reduce the expression also. So it carries 7 marks. Otherwise this question will be asked for 4 to 5 marks. So you need to write the truth table correctly and then after by looking at the sum you need to write this expression. You can see my video I have explained how to write this sum expression. So quickly I will tell you wherever 1 is there you need to consider that and looking at these input combinations we need to take this one as a bar b bar c similarly a bar b bar c plus the next one we need to consider and write a bar b c bar. Likewise we will be getting 4 expressions and we are adding those. So we will be having 1 1 1 1 here for these. Similarly, we need to write carry expression is here. So after writing this, we need to simplify by using Boolean laws. That is what the reducing the expression is. Finally, we are end up with sum is equal to a plus of b plus of c in means this expression is xr of a b c. And coming to c out, again by looking at these ones, we have derived this expression c out. And then we have reduced that into b into c in plus a into c in plus a b. How I did that is I have explained in the other video you can see that. This carries 2 marks for the truth table. Simplification carries 3 to 4 marks and circuit diagram if you write that carries 1 or 2 marks. Remember you need to write the circuit diagram for the final expressions what you are going to derive after the simplification. Then the next question is on mention different theorems and postulates of boolean algebra prove each of them with the truth table. So these are the laws commutative law, associative law, distributive law and other and laws, r laws also you can write and you can derive that using the truth table means suppose if you want to derive commutative law you need to take a b values and a plus b and then b plus a. First a value then b values here you need to write a plus b column and b plus a column. This matches means 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 if you write a plus b means it is r operation between these two you will get 0 1 1 1 b plus a is also r of these two you will get 0 1 1 1 you need to show that these two are same that's why commutative law is satisfied this is how you need to explain so here i have shown for absorption law how we can prove using the truth table this carries 7 marks then we have subtract using r minus 1's complement method and r's complement method they have asked. See here the first question is 4, 4, 5, 6 with base 10 we call it as radix minus 3, 4, 2, 3, 4 with base 10 that is radix. r minus 1's complement in the sense this r is 10 here. Why? Because the radix of these two numbers will be 10. So r value is 10. r minus 1's complement means it is 10 minus 1 that is 9's complement we need to take. How to take the 9's complement? 9's complement is that whatever the number we have suppose we have 1, 2, 3, 4 the 9's complement of this is we need to subtract that by 4 9's. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 subtracting 1, 2, 3, 4 you are going to get the 9's complement value over here. So quickly if you look at this subtraction here we have 4, 4, 5, 6. Let me consider it as A minus B. So whenever we are going to subtract these using a complement methods, we need to take the complement of B. So here B is 3, 4, 2, 3, 4. So taking the 9's complement of that, subtracting from 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. So we are going to get 6, 5, 7, 6, 5. So what is this, this complement of a number is that if we take A minus B into account, we are taking 
complement of b means we are deriving minus b that means a minus of minus b we are going to get after the complement so minus of minus is plus so we are adding a plus b this is how the complement subtraction goes that's why this number we need to add with a number so we are going to get 70221 here there is no carry generated here if there is an extra bit generated here as a carry we need to consider that carry and do the operation here no carry is generated so we need to take the ninth complement of the result generated means it is a negative number so we need to take the ninth complement of this and we are going to get 29778 we need to write with minus by taking ninth complement this is the subtracted result you can see here this is the smallest number this is the biggest number so we are subtracting the bigger number from the smaller number means we need to get the negative number so you can cross verify this by doing in a calculator also the second question is subtract using r's complement method again here the radix is 2 r's complement means we need to do 2's complement itself if they have asked you to do r minus 1's complement then we need to take 2 minus 1 as 1 1's complement method we need to follow but here we need to follow 2's complement method and here again this is a this is b we need to take the 2's complement of b number it is 100100 100. how to take the 2's complement converting this to 1's complement by inversion or inverting it each and every bits then adding 1 to this this is the 2's complement value of b then we need to add this with a plus a now we are going to get this number if you get a carry what you need to do you need to neglect this neglect the carry and take this result this will be your subtracted result this is how you can do the two's complement method now i hope you guys know what is r's complement and what is r minus 1's complement method the next question is on convert the following these conversions number conversions are very important repeatedly asked in the exam for sure you will be getting one or two questions on this here they have asked to convert a radix 16 number that is hexadecimal number to octal number so here we will be having a decimal point also we need to remember and look at carefully here 3 a 6 c 5 8 d this is uh, hexadecimal number they may also give it as h h will be hexadecimal also 16 we can write we need to convert that into octal the easiest method what i am going to follow is that first convert hexadecimal to binary it is easy why because for each and every number you just write a four digit binary equivalent once you write the four digit binary equivalent then if you want you can pad zeros at the left side over here and right side over here okay if you want then you start grouping from this point okay from this point you need to make three three groups to convert that into octal so first take the hexadecimal number for 3 we need to write a four digit equivalent of binary for a we need to write the four digit equivalent of binary for 6 we need to write the four digit equivalent once we write the binary number from this point start grouping in this way from start grouping in this way for three three bits then it gives octal number this is the simplest form to convert hexadecimal to octal we are going to get this number and then b is converting 0.6875 with base 10 to 2 that is decimal to binary so decimal to binary we have 0.687 there is no value before the decimal point so after the decimal point decimal point values we need to multiply by 2 so we need to take this out so then start writing from top to bottom 1010 is the result 0.1010 with base 2 is the binary equivalent for this similarly c is computing the ninth complement of 25.639 ninth complement how to take by subtracting from all nines you are going to get the ninth complement and similarly taking ones complement of this just invert these two uh, these values if you have zero write as one if you have one write zero if you have one write zero similarly for all the bits we need to invert these you are going to get the ones complement this carries eight marks means these two these two having some calculation so they may split maximum marks as six marks to this and one marks to this and one marks to this there might be a chance like that state and prove de morgan's theorem with truth table this is also 
a very important question you need to remember this statements these two statements and these two expressions theorem expressions and you just need to write the truth table by taking a b and a bar b bar and all required here so a bar b bar and then a dot b is required so a dot b then taking complement of that so we got this component then we need to have a bar b bar we need to do r of those two so a bar plus b bar is this so we need to say these two are matching that's why complement of a product is equal to individual complements sum of individual complements similarly we need to uh, write for this also this is the easiest easiest question you will get for sure in examination you can easily get five marks then coming to c question minimize the following function here you need to apply the boolean laws and you need to reduce that complex expression into a simplest form so i have already solved here you can see xy plus x bar z plus yz is there here how i am doing this is that here we will be having xy x bar z and yz i am just multiplying this with 1 anyhow it is yz into 1 itself i am taking this one as x plus x bar x plus x bar gives this one and then multiplying this with this so it makes me easy to solve so that finally we are going to get x y plus x bar z this is the simplest expression similarly the next thing is that find the complement of the functions f1 f2 these two we need to take just the complements taking the complement is that whatever the expression they have given just take complete bar thus that gives the complement once you once you get the complete bar you need to apply d morgan's theorem this is d morgan's theorem what d morgan theorem says if you have two products like two sums like this and a complete bar you can split this by making it as a product of individuals so then you can simplify it by multiplication similarly this f2 expression i have simplified go through these simplifications you need to practice few examples then only it will be easy for you guys to simplify otherwise you feel difficult and end up with different results this is about module 3 questions it is all about the boolean expressions and logical expressions and uh, some theorems and also they have asked to write the full order structure and half order structure like that and it is a easiest module you can easily get 20 marks thank you